Scorpio, what is going on with you? Come on in, have a seat, make yourself comfortable. My name is Alan Hill from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Scorpio Tarot love reading. Today's reading, we are going to take a behind-the-scenes peek at your romantic person of interest here as we move through March 2024. See what's going on with them. See if there's anything that your attention or your awareness might need to be brought to about this person. That way you can best navigate the situation you're finding yourself in with them here in March 2024. I'm going to get five cards to represent your person's energy. Then I'm going to clarify everything with the second deck, just to make sure we can get down to the bottom of the unknown truth about what's really going on with this person you're romantically connected to. So let's get this Scorpio reading going here. What's going on with Scorpio's romantic person of interest in March 2024? What does Scorpio's attention and awareness need to be brought to? I knew that was coming. I always shuffle the decks and set my intentions before I even hit record on the camera. In both decks, I saw the Nine of Swords either shoot out of the deck or flip over and like stay upright. And I had to flip it back over manually here. And it just came out again. Let's get one more. What's going on with Scorpio's person? Taking these two together at the end. Okay. I see, I see. On the bottom of the deck, the overall energy of this reading, Scorpio. Four of Wands. This is Aries energy. This is... Fours are stability. So this is like stability of the home life, stability of the family life, stability of the connection between the two of you. It also represents these four wands can represent 1111, which is the number of manifesting. So this is a usually a celebration of the home and the family, or it's a celebration of the thing that I'm trying to create in my life has actually appeared in the physical reality. It's stable in the physical reality, and I can celebrate that it's arrived now. Okay, so I got the Three of Swords right behind that. This is Libra energy of heartbreak and sadness, usually from a third energy. So this could be we got this stable home slash family life, stable connection, and now we got some heartbreaking third energy showing up in that. This does not always have to be a romantic third party, although it definitely can be that at times. This could be like nosy friends, nosy family members, nosy neighbors, co-workers, like anybody sticking their nose where it doesn't belong can be that third energy. And addiction, like too much time working, too much going to school, too much Netflix, like too much partying, anything like that can be a third kind of an energy here. But we got something heartbreaking going on either in this connection between the two of you and the stability of it or someone has manifested something that's causing a heartbreaking situation could be both at the same time actually do have the chariot right behind that this is cancer's major arcana card this is an energy of like trying to overcome the obstacles and the challenges and the roadblocks and the stuff that's in the way it's trying to get past all of that just through sheer will alone and then moving forward very quickly in success and victory there is an issue of alignment here with this card, though, because you see the, the dark side, the shadow side, and the light side. There are no reins for the driver to control this thing, so he does it through sheer will alone. So if the driver is not in full alignment, in other words, if his shadow side and his light side aren't pulling in the same direction, this thing isn't going to go anywhere, or worse yet, it'll tear itself in half as it starts to move forward. So we got, looks like some sort of an underlying desire here to overcome some problem looking like a heartbreaking thing has happened and this is like trying to move past it seven of wands this is leo energy it's defensive energy it's like defending a position on something them defending their stance on something like fighting to protect something that's important to them fighting for what they desire fighting for this connection defensive about something here could be trying to defend this king of wands energy here this is either leo or sagittarius energy <clears throat> excuse me this is a bold passionate fiery determined person that knows exactly what he wants he goes after it he doesn't take no for an answer this is not the person that lets obstacles and challenges and roadblocks get in the way this is the person that's going to find a way to get what he wants or he's going to make a way to get what he wants very driven and motivated and determined and ambitious kind of a person it's also the pinnacle of the wand suit and the wand is the phallic symbol of the deck so it's the male phallus using it to be intimate sexual energy sex so this is the pinnacle of that suit so it's someone who's not just driven and motivated in the general sense but they're also driven and motivated by desire and 
probably wanting to fight to get what it is that they want or fight to protect what it is that they want or maybe even defending against accusations of being this kind of an energy here. That's the gist of what it looks like this is going to talk to me about. We might have to come back to that as we go along here. <clears throat> First card in your person's energy is always going to be the most important for them. It's the Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, Two of Cups, and then these two came out together, the Queen of Wands and Strength. This Ace of Pentacles, this is an opportunity. It's a physical opportunity presenting itself to your person. This is not like an idea or a concept. It's a physical thing and you can touch it. So it's some sort of an opportunity here for them. It's something that's going to require some work, some time, effort, and energy to get there, to get what it is that they actually want out of this. This is the seed with the potential to grow into the Ten of Pentacles that we all want, that stable abundant prosperous home life the combining together of two people or two families like building a life together this is the potential to get there what's going on with this ace of pentacles why is that the first card for scorpio's person in march 2024 come here okay so we got through this okay on the bottom of the deck justice this is libra's major arcana card this is the most powerful card of balance in the tarot deck this is about doing the right fair just thing the sword on the card is used to cut away something that's not in balance so balance can be restored and then the right fair just thing can happen like what's supposed to happen can happen the fact that it's here is telling me something unfair unjust or unbalanced is going on or there'd be no need to correct it Eight of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy. This is very fast moving energy. The only energy faster than this is the Chariot, which we've already seen. So we got a lot of speed here. This can be like rapid back and forth passionate communication happening. That could be the unfair thing that's going on. This can just be rapid forward movement or progress on something they have a lot of passion and desire for. It can even be a lot happening all at once. <clears throat> like a lot of energy coming at them all at once. And this, it would be like overwhelming. It would be like too much to process at once. Ah, this is either them moving very, very fast on a new connection here or them passionately communicating with someone that they have a connection with. This Two of Cups is Cancer energy. I'm getting ahead of myself, it's already out here in their energy to begin with. This is like it's a connection like an emotional connection between two people It's I breathe you in you breathe me in. we're connected But it's a two and in tarot twos represent choices of some kind So this is either a choice about this connection with you or this is a choice About some other connection that they have this could just represent the other connection Hmm Now 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 maybe let me let me back up here some physical opportunity presents itself. It could be to do something unfair and they move really quickly on it and they start another connection. It could also just be an opportunity is presenting itself to them to make something right with you. And maybe they're communicating about that and trying to make really fast progress on trying to make something right with this connection with you. It's possible it could go either way because I have temperance behind that. This is the Sagittarius Major Arcana card. This is a card of like being patient with something and making small adjustments to it, little bits at a time and like trying to get something balanced out to be just right. Usually something is like way out of whack here and this is like the recalibration of that. It can even represent reconciliation, like getting back together because in tarot, water represents love and emotions and here the love has been separated into two different cups and this angel is recombining it back together. I do have an energy here of six of swords, like leaving something behind, like moving away from something painful and leaving it behind and moving forward into calmer waters here. So this could be a case where someone did something unfair, could have even brought in a third party or some heartbreaking thing. And now there's this idea of trying to overcome that, trying to make that right and balance it back out. When I clarify this opportunity that's presenting itself to them, I get Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, there's the King of Wands again, 
and six of pentacles. A lot of pentacles out here. Pentacles represent like physical, tangible things, like stuff you can touch. Sometimes money, possessions. This seven of pentacles is Taurus energy. This is a period of time where there's this pause to reflect and take stock of this connection, of this situation they're finding themselves in. And they're, they're taking a look at the seeds that have been planted between the two of you. And they're trying to figure out, is this ever going to turn into the Ten of Pentacles that I really want? Is this worth me continuing to invest my time, effort, and energy into this? Or is this a spot where maybe it's not going to pan out? Maybe I should cut my losses and move on. So this is like the period of time where they're contemplating that kind of stuff. It could even represent a period of time where seeds have been planted on something here, possibly in trying to make something right with you, and they're waiting on that to fully develop and mature so they can actually grab it and do something with it. I think that might be part of their plan, this page of pentacles. This can be news and communications about this opportunity here. It can also represent a person who is at the beginning stages of creating some kind of a plan for their future moving forward. And they're either waiting on something to pan out so that they can do that plan. Or they're taking some time to figure out, is this worth continuing in before they make their plan? <clears throat> King of Wands is next. We already saw this. Like That's that Leo or Sagittarius energy. That very driven, motivated, determined person. Knows what they want. Someone who's probably... Oh, damn card like I knock it out of my hand and it spins and lands on this next card so this is connected here Th this can be a person who like I said is driven and motivated by passion and sexual desire I do have six of pentacles next which is a Taurus energy it's supposed to be balance it's supposed to be like trying to balance something out generosity reciprocity like you scratch my back I scratch your back you take care of me I take care of you it's like equal give and take where we're both balanced in terms of what we're putting in and getting out it can sometimes represent the merchant here i mean in your person giving to two people in the physical sense which you could totally see a physical opportunity as the opportunity to do something like that and it could be that they've been waiting on that to pan out and had a plan to do that this could be telling me about what the unfair thing is and they were kind of being driven by the wand so to speak and start giving to two people that's what it's looking like simply because their next card is the five of swords fives are conflict so this can be a fight this can be a big argument bitter words being spoken words being used like weapons or swords like tongues used to cut each other here this a lot of times is a betrayal type of an energy or a person who's got this winning at all cost attitude like i'm gonna get what i want and be damned with what happens to anybody else. All I care about is what I want. At its core, it's like a mentally and psychologically painful situation or event. But oftentimes, it's a betrayal of some kind. Tell me about this Five of Swords, please. You cannot make this up, Scorpio. Still one more on that Five of Swords. Bottom of the deck knight of pentacles again with the pentacles here i'm seeing a lot of those this is the slowest moving knight in the deck so i've seen the chariot i've seen the eight of wands the two fastest energies in the deck and now we got this really slow energy that doesn't really jive that doesn't seem to make sense the other meaning to this is it's someone who knows what they're supposed to do and doesn't do it for some reason he, he's got the ace of pentacles in his hand he's got this seed of abundance in his hand but the fields in the background are completely empty because he knows he's supposed to plant the damn seed he just hasn't done it for some reason now likewise it could be a person who knows what they're not supposed to do like he knows he's not supposed to just sit here and look at the damn thing he, so and he's doing that anyway so it can be someone who knows what they're not supposed to do but they do it any damn way shit <laughs> right behind that knight of pentacles is the tower Ooh, this is the collapse of some important structure for your person here. This is a lot of times is like the end of the relationship when it all crumbles and goes to hell in a handbasket here. Someone's calling me, driving me crazy. This is, it's, it's a foundation rocking event. So once this happens, nothing's the same for your person here. 
really hard to see the path moving forward. But this looks like it's describing an opportunity to do something with another person. And now I've got somebody behind your back and I'm betraying you here. And I'm doing something I know I'm not supposed to do. And that, that causes a devastating thing to happen between the two of you. And then there's this Eight of Cups behind that. Pisces energy of emotionally detaching, physically detaching and walking away. Like the person on the card is walking away from eight full cups of love because they think there's something better out there for them. So a lot of times this will be a person who thinks the grass might be greener on the other side of the fence and they got to go find out. Especially if they're following the wand and not their heart. And so far I haven't seen any, any idea that they're following their heart here. When I clarify this Five of Swords, this either betrayal or painful thing that happens, the very first clarifier, Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups. Seven of Swords is Aquarius energy. This is lying, cheating, stealing, deception, sneaking around behind your back trying to get away with something that they shouldn't have been trying to get away with. It's not the only meaning. Sometimes it can represent self-preservation, as in like they don't want to be hurt, which is why they would steal the swords. doesn't seem to be adding up here. It can even mean leaving something behind. He can only carry five swords, and he has to leave two behind. So it can mean leaving something behind. But that ain't what this is telling me here. This is a deception sneaking around. It's right beside another seven, seven of pentacles, a period of time. This is probable that your person had this planned for a minute and has been like, I didn't go down far enough because right behind that detaching is the three of wands, which is an energy of like waiting on something to happen. It's like, I know what I want. I've chosen my path. I've started taking steps in that direction and I fully expect the thing I want's going to happen. It just hasn't happened yet. And I'm waiting on it to happen, waiting on it to materialize. The overall energy is ta-da it's here and there's the heartbreak and sadness from a third energy so this yeah and damn right behind the thing they're waiting on is the queen of wands which is the match to this king of wands here in the whole passion desire sexual energy end of things this would be a person that they have a lot of passion desire attraction toward uh, 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 waiting on some opportunity to present itself and in the meantime planning for that and potentially like setting up a scenario where I can give the two. And it looks like that happens because there's a betrayal. There's this sneaky, deceptive shit that's probably been going on for a while. And not only is that Seven of Swords connected to a Seven in the Seven of Pentacles, it's also connected to the Seven of Cups, which is Scorpio energy. This is options and choices and confusion about their options and choices. There's a lot of different cups here. There's a lot of different things they could choose to do. A lot of emotions involved and they don't want to pick the wrong cup and make some kind of a mistake here the clouds of smoke can represent that they're emotionally confused or that they have clouded judgment clouded decision making it could represent being intoxicated it can represent even that if i'm if i'm betraying you and i'm lying to you and i'm sneaking around behind your back and cheating and doing stupid stuff like that this could be that clouds of smoke could be them blowing smoke up your ass trying to cloud the situation so you can't see what's going on so you can't figure out what their plan is here so you can't catch them in the act but with the thing if they're clouding something the thing they're clouding is this if they're confused about what to do here doesn't look like that it doesn't look like they're confused at all king of wands isn't confused he knows what he wants and he doesn't stop he goes and he gets it this is like I'm, I'm clouding your vision and lying and deceiving you and betraying you so you can't see the fact that I'm taking actions toward love and emotions. I'm moving forward with romantic offers and romantic gestures trying to advance this cup of love here, trying to move forward in that. Central to your person's energy in March, Scorpio, Nine of Swords. This is Gemini energy. Like I said, I saw this shoot either shoot out of both decks or it shot out of one and flipped over in the other one. So I saw it in both decks beforehand. This is fear, worry, and anxiety. It's your person thinking about something so much with all this fear and worry behind their thinking. 
and it's they're doing that to the point that it starts to physically manifest as stress or sleepless nights or can't can't fall asleep i'm having nightmares i can't concentrate on what i'm doing the person has their eyes covered with their hands because it's so bad in their mind the worry is that they don't want to face the situation that they're in i see this a lot when a person has done something that they shouldn't have done and now here's the worry that i'm going to get caught in the act here which is probably why i'm doing all this smoke screen bullshit here tell me about this nine of swords please why is that central to scorpio's person's energy Come here. Yeah. The bottom of the deck. Temperance. I've already seen this Sagittarius Major Arcana card. Patience. This is also trying to rebalance something that's way out of whack. Like think about if you're making a cup of coffee and you're daydreaming about something, especially if you're all stuck in your head about something. And now next thing you know, you've put twice as much sugar into your coffee as you normally would. And as soon as you take a sip, it's like, oh, I can't drink that. You have to fix that somehow by pouring some out and pouring some new coffee in and testing that and making some more adjustments. Maybe you got to do that a couple of times until you get it balanced out to be just right. That's kind of what this energy is about. It's like something is so out of whack that it's going to take like recalibrating it to get it to be just right. It's also about combining together two things to create something new or to recombine something together once it's been separated here. I don't really see anything yet that tells me you're separated from them at this point. It shows me like the means to do something presents itself and then there's like the motive to do something is here. And then there's the lying to cover up the fact that I just did it. And what I did was take actions of love and emotion somewhere that wasn't with you. And now I've got all this fear and worry here. And I'm trying to figure out how to like rebalance all of this. And it's a lot. The Eight of Wands is it's fast moving energy. I think they probably did what they did really, really fast and maybe didn't think about it first. And now they're doing a lot of thinking about it and can't stop. This is like an overwhelming amount of energy. It'd be like trying to take a drink of water out of a fire hose. Two of Cups. There's the, That's the next card I'm going to clarify next. Cancer Energy. It's, it's a love connection, but it's a choice about a love connection, or it's a choice between two cups of love. Queen of Cups. Justice. Yeah, okay. So the Queen of Cups. This is a feminine water sign energy. I see Queen of Wands out here. I've seen Queen of Wands twice, actually. And I think they have a choice between you, the person they get the love and emotions from, and the person they get the attraction, passion, desire end of things from. And that's the unfair, unjust thing that's going on that needs balanced out. That's what Temperance is trying to talk about. They're trying to figure out how to balance this out and they're worried and stressing themselves out about how to balance this out because they already they already did the betrayal thing they already lied and snuck around and cheated and then trying to cover it up the fact that they did that when i clarify this fear worry and anxiety they have five of wands the star queen of pentacles Four of Pentacles. Yeah, makes perfect sense here. Five of Wands. Fives are conflict. This is Leo energy of an internal conflict. A conflict in someone's desires where a piece of them wants this one thing and another piece of them wants this other thing. And they're playing tug of war inside themselves in terms of what is it that I actually want here. Pulling themselves in different directions. Internally conflicted. That happens when you have a relationship and you involve a third person into it then there's this choice that has to be made and i don't know which one to pick i just know i'm lying and being deceptive and sneaking around in the process here I'm worrying about getting caught the star is next this is the aquarius major arcana card it's a card of healing it's a card of hope this 
is the card that comes after the tower in the sequence of the major arcana so you don't make it here without going through a tower moment of some kind first when something comes crashing down and now everything's different it's really hard to see the path moving forward from there and that's what this card represents it's that guiding light from the universe that shows up to light the way so they can see the path moving forward this is where hope comes from where healing comes from it's like I'm all all this worry and fear and anxiety and stress that I'm feeling about this or this confusion or this probably this need to blow a smoke screen to to cover up what I did and what my plan was. It wasn't I, I planned to do it. It wasn't spur of the moment. This is probably the hope that you don't find out or the hope that this right here can happen. These almost have to go together. This Queen of Pentacles is like wife type energy. It would be like the stable committed person that i'm building my life with type of an energy i'm like building my life around this type of a person it normally represents like wife or you know living girlfriend or something along those lines it doesn't even have to be female it can just represent the the feminine side of that equation here i think they're they're having the hope that they can hold on tightly to you and not let go of you. This, both of these are Capricorn energies. This is holding on tightly to something and not wanting to let go of it. So it's like, I, I'm hoping that I can maintain this with you. See, and even this, like, I've been reading these to you vertically in columns, but each time I connect it to the row that it's in, and this bottom row is the only one that's incomplete. I have a gap, a, like, empty spot in the middle with no information there. What's before it is the merchant giving to two and what's after the empty spot is holding on to something that i don't want to let go of and in this column where there is the empty spot is betrayal sneaking around lying blowing a smoke screen up your ass so you can't see what's going on that i moved forward somewhere else and there's the gap there so it's like at this point i don't even know if you know that this has happened and they're just straight worrying about it conflicted about what to do in the meantime but just hoping that they can keep this smoke screen away from you so they can hold on to you the very next card that we have in their energy is that two of cups again cancer energy this is a love connection this is also a choice about the connection with you it's probably even a choice about you or this other person and i have to pick one here tell me about this two of cups please there's definitely a connection here and it's not just the one with you. It's validated again right here. <clears throat> On the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's the tower. That's the collapse of something. So bringing in this other person has changed everything. And nothing's going to be the same now. Sometimes this is the collapse of the relationship with you. Sometimes this is the collapse of some belief system that they have, some mental model of the world that they're operating from, where they, they think the world looks this way, and this is how it works, and this is what's going to happen, and then something shatters that, and now I don't know what the hell is going on here. That, that could totally put you in fear, worry, anxiety, and stress, internal conflict, totally could do that. But they totally did it themselves. There's that Eight of Cups again that... Pisces energy of emotionally detaching, physically detaching, going off to see if there's something better out there, see if the grass is greener over there or not. And I knew I wasn't supposed to do that, and I did it any damn way. The Hermit. Yeah, now they're, now this would be like withdrawal and isolation. So this could be communication shutting down between the two of you. This could even be them like being forced inside themselves because of this tower happening here and this everything being crazy like it is. This could be them doing some soul searching and some deep inner reflection and some deep contemplation, like trying to look at themselves and analyze themselves and adjust themselves so that they can move forward here or trying to figure out how to do that. Yeah, there's that three of swords again, though. Heartbreak and sadness from a third energy. The Hierophant. That, that would be Taurus energy. This would be like commitment, like marriage, like taking, taking a committed relationship to the next level. And before we get, either before we get there, we get to this three of swords, third energy bit happening. It, it, two cards, three cards in the deck to me could mean somebody's married. We got this four of wands, this hierophant here, 
both of which could be that. Ten of Pentacles could also be that. I don't have that anywhere out here yet. But it's so crazy because right before the Hierophant is the Three of Swords in this deck. And in the main deck that I'm using, you got this Four of Wands that can be a marriage card and the Three of Swords right beside it. To me, this is feeling like at the minimum, they were in a committed relationship with you. And now this has all happened. And this is something's bad wrong here. When I clarify this Two of Cups, this choice either about your connection or a choice between two people, I get that Four of Wands again. Three of Cups, the Fool, Five of Cups. Okay, in their second column, it ended with like blowing smoke to protect this shady stuff I've done. And what I've done is move forward in Cups energy, like love, emotions, energy, advance that way. I'm going from the Two of Cups to the Three of Cups to the Five of Cups. We're, we're advancing and we're starting to skip a step here now. This Four of Wands, like I said, is that Aries energy of stability of the home, the family, stability of the connection. It's also the thing that your person wanted actually manifesting in the physical reality. It started off with the physical opportunity presenting itself, and the King of Wands went after the opportunity. And there was a betrayal, and now all this worry and hope that I can keep it from you and protect this so that I don't lose you. But this is like... This happened during stability in your connection and they have manifested another connection at the same time. That's why I'm getting three of cups next, more cancer energy. This can sometimes be like being united or reunited and celebrating, but it can also represent a third party love scenario because there's three cups of love in this picture. And beside that is the hope that the smoke screen holds up and you don't see what was going on and what I was doing and the communications about that opportunity and the plan on that opportunity. I don't feel like it was a spontaneous spur of the moment thing. I don't have the Knight of Swords out here. I don't have anything telling me this happened spur of the moment as much as I had stuff telling me that this moved very fast. But I do see period of time and planning here. So if this wasn't like spur of the moment thing, maybe the physical opportunity sprang up spur of the moment, but the plan to do something about it was already in place. After this third cup of love, the next clarifier is the fool. This is, this is the first card of the tarot deck. It's card zero. This is a legitimate new beginning at something here. This is also taking that blind leap of faith on something and just going for it and I, screw it, I'll figure it out as I go along. It can even represent foolish behavior, taking unnecessary risks, taking risks outside of the connection. And it's strange here how this card representing you has your back to the fool. It's like he's operating behind your back and we've already seen the betrayal. We've already seen the sneaking around and deception and the blowing smoke. Final card here to clarify this two of cups is the five of cups. Scorpio energy. This is sadness and remorse about the past. It's about being focused on these three cups that have been spilled and all the love, emotions, time, effort, and energy that's been spilled and wasted. In the background, there are two cups that are still upright. It's the two of cups here. So in, in the background for them is another connection. In the background is also still a connection with you. And then there's sadness and remorse about everything that they've probably done. Pro 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 I can't talk. Probable that they have regrets about what they did. It, where their focus, though, is... On something that they've lost and they're focused on something that's missing and they're feeling that loss they're feeling that gap it's sitting right beside four of Pentacles like wanting to hold on and not let go of something and it's almost like that gap has to stay there because the minute this gets filled in for you and you see what's happening they know they're gonna lose you Final card and your person's energy came out too at the same time. We got the Queen of Wands and Strength. Both are Leo energies. This one could also be Aries or Sagittarius, I guess. But this is the counterpart to this King of Wands that we see out here. This is that person they have the passion and desire and attraction to and the sexual energy for. 
the strength card is probably them trying to tame this beast inside themselves this these urges these desires that they have they're trying to rein themselves in and hold themselves back so they don't rush off and do something stupid make some kind of mistake here trying to contain themselves here struggling against a piece of themselves tell me about this queen of wands and strength why is that here scorpio this person in march 2020 yeah bottom of the deck two of cups we've seen that several times now that's the connection they have with this queen of wands person here doesn't have to be aries or leo or sagittarius it can just be a person that they have attraction to that they view as sexy vivacious fun to be around like they they're pulled in that direction attracted to eight of wands that's a lot of wand energy that's an overwhelming amount of energy coming at them fast it's like that that can be a problematic piece like every card has positive and negative pieces to it like even the tower has positive pieces even the queen of wands has negative pieces she can be a drama queen she can be that kind of person that knows what she wants and doesn't give a damn like Ooh, that dude's hot and her friend is like yeah but he's married and she's like i don't care i want him and she'll go get him and she won't stop I'm not saying that's what happened in this case i'm just saying i've definitely seen queen of wands energy do that before and this could be that person coming on strong and him trying to like maintain a grip on himself and can't page of swords okay so this could also be I got all this passion and desire and this connection and there's a lot of rapid back and forth passionate communication going on between the two of them. This page of swords can be an energy of someone who's trying to learn something or figure something out. It is also a communication card, but this can be like snooping around or you know, asking questions and looking for information and like researching, spying, investigating. Hell, what I'm doing right now kind of qualifies as Page of Swords because I'm snooping around in their energy. A lot of times I'll see this card show up in a situation like this when, when you have found out now what's going on. You had some way to uncover it, whether you snooped and found it or you accidentally stumbled upon it or someone else saw that and then reported it back to you. This is this looking almost like I found the messages, homie. <sighs> yeah, this is also them. This is also them being overwhelmed with how much desire and urge that they have and trying to figure out what to do about that and trying to balance that out, trying to be patient. Like when I see strength and temperance together, that's like I don't want to be patient, but I'm trying like hell to make myself be patient. I'm trying to force patience. We did see the Knight of Pentacles at some point too. That card is enough to make you want to pull your hair out sometimes. So we could definitely have a situation where this person is struggling with all this desire to do something and trying to figure out how to chill. And then they can't figure out how to chill. So we go to the moon and this is, this is Pisces energy. It can be fear, worry, and anxiety. Sure. I already see that central to their energy so it probably is some of that too but this can also represent a secret being kept something being hidden in the dark hiding something there's something going on that you don't know about is and it has to stay secret it has to stay hidden in the dark or it brings about the ten of swords which is probably the thing they're worrying about this is gemini energy of a swift painful ending to something sometimes it's an ending you don't see coming which is why the swords end up in your back sometimes it's an ending in betrayal which is why the swords end up in your back it's getting betrayed getting stabbed in the back so this is now like the third reference to a betrayal happening or now it now it's even like not just the betrayal has happened but if it doesn't stay secret then the end happens and it's like them trying to contain themselves from going after this other person but probably doing a lot of communicating when i clarify queen of wands and strength i get the ace of pentacles the sun six of swords ace of pentacles was their very first card most important card for them this is the physical opportunity presenting itself with this queen of wands character and that's the moment that they couldn't contain this beast inside themselves anymore <clears throat> 
the sun. This is Leo Major Arcana Energy. This person could be a Leo. I've seen quite a bit of Leo energy out here. This is the happiest card in the deck. It's happiness, joy, bliss, harmony. So there is some element of happiness that your person gets from them. There's probably an element of happiness your person gets from the sexual energy, the passion, the desire that, you know, somebody wanting them, something along those lines. They probably get some jollies out of that. There is also happiness tied to this third cup of love that gets brought in. There's also happiness probably tied to the connection with you. But the other meaning to the sun besides just happiness is it's the card that comes immediately after the moon in the sequence of the card. So in the moon, when there's a secret being kept, when something's being hidden in the dark, the next step is the sun comes up and it shines its light into the darkness and exposes what's being hidden. And now I can see it. What's being exposed is this opportunity with this queen of wands. What's being exposed is the third cup of love. Final clarifier for your person, Scorpio, Six of Swords. We've already seen the Five of Swords. Both are Aquarius energy. I even have the Seven of Swords out here. That Five of Swords is a betrayal. It's a mentally and psychologically painful situation or event. This is the stage right after that where this is about moving away from that painful situation, moving away from the pain and forward into the future. The real question is, like that painful thing has already happened. The betrayal has already happened. That can't be changed at this point. Sure, they can try to hide it and cover it up and pretend like it didn't happen and leave a gap in the knowledge and the information that you have and try to protect that, but they can't change what they did. And here, the real choice they have is what do I do moving forward from here? Do I carry the burden this painful thing has caused into my future so it continues to weigh me down? Or do I carry forward the lesson this painful thing has taught me? <sighs> this does not feel like I've learned my lesson. Okay, maybe they have. Because they clearly have a lot of mental anguish over this. Sadness, remorse. But they're blowing smoke and hiding stuff and lying and deceiving to cover up what they did. Which usually means that you got to do more dirty, underhanded shit that you shouldn't be doing in order to protect all that crap. Uh, I'm, I'm not digging this here. Like, they have a strong choice about what to do moving forward from here. Another meaning of the sword's energy itself is, like, truth and communication and communicating the truth but i don't see that happening for them because it's connected to the full energy like very beginning stage of something foolish behavior not fully mature type energy and again we have another gap in the information here i have two gaps in this last row i gave the two people gap i don't want you to see that i did that because i'm trying to hold on to you and i, I have regrets about what i did but there's still another gap here where it doesn't seem like they're going to be forthcoming with what they did and fess up to it and try to correct it the real way. It's like they're going to continue to hide it. Now, if you still have questions about this situation or your relationship, click on any of the videos that just appear on your screen right now. When you do, you'll be taken to more Scorpio love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And I'll see you in the next video.